This is a story of three little pigs that lived at home with their parents, played a lot of video games, and according to their dad, needed to get their lives together. When I was your age, I had two jobs! You need to get your life together and stop wasting time on this stupid game! Dad Pig worked in retail as a salesman down at the local pigware store, and after a long day at work, he would often come home to find the three little pigs playing video games. A sight that would have him incensed. She looked at me and tells me she wanted something that would hug her hips better. I told her pigs don't have hips. They don't pay me enough to deal with these swine and their issues. Playing this game again? That's it! I've had enough! What'd you do that for? Now all our progress in that game is for nothing! Three need to get your life together. This environment is too negative. You see, the older pig was an aspiring actor and had starred in a few pig commercials but was still waiting his big break. But he often liked to think of himself as being more successful than he actually was. I don't need this, I'm moving out. I'm, I'm moving, moving out, out too. So the three pigs moved out. The baby pig decided to move into a small straw cottage off the freeway. The money he saved up serving at the elephant bar over the summer could get him through a couple of months until he found new ways of making money. But he was very resourceful. The middle pig had recently graduated from Pig University with a psychology degree and decided to apply for a job working with younger pigs. He found a job rather quickly despite sitting around playing video games for a few months and bought a small wooden house on the outskirts of town. The older pig had recently started dating a gilt by the name of Gilly her pig. She was a model on the famous pig site Piggy Pictures. Her pig was very successful and had a home in Piggywood Hills. I'm moving out of my parents place. I need a place of peace where I can cultivate my inner artiste. I'm gonna be MIA for a little bit. I really need to find some gigs to make up rent money. Why don't you move in with me? Get a few gigs, save up, then find a place. Or you could just be homeless. The older pig was always set on being his own pig and didn't want to depend on anyone for his subsistence. But he was low on cash. And after careful consideration, the older pig begrudgingly moved in with Gilly her pig. The baby pig was an avid gambler. Some would say he had a gambling problem, but he usually would make enough to cover the rent. He ran into some trouble with some of the locals after betting a gold watch in place of $20,000 at a poker game that turned out to be a fake. He became indebted to Big Bad Wolf, who was a recovering drug addict with an unusual amount of patience. What's up baby pig? I went to a jewelry store to try to sell this watch and they told me it was a fake. Here's your watch. I want my money. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. I thought I had this thing appraised for at least 22,000. 22,000 what? Rocks? Man, I don't know about that. Just give me my money. Listen, Big Bad. I Whoa, it's Big Bad Wolf. You want me to say the whole thing? Yeah, I want you to say the whole thing. My name is not just for name tags. Well, that seems hardly necessary. It's just the two of us here. You know what, Pig? Just have my money by next week. The thing is, Baby Pig didn't have the money. And Big Bad Wolf went to Baby Pig's cottage on multiple occasions, but he didn't know if he was being ignored or if he just wasn't catching him at home. But things started to change. A mysterious virus caused the city to be put on lockdown. A massive shutdown across the country as it struggles to cope with coronavirus. Big Bad Wolf, who was already on a fixed income, saw his prospects for pecuniary gain diminished significantly. He was running out of money and opportunities to make it. Baby Pig still had not paid him the money he owed him, but he thought to himself since the town was under quarantine, Baby Pig would most likely be at home. Yo, Baby Pig! I just saw you! Come outside, I need my money, man! Come back next week! With this virus going around, I don't even know if I have next week. I need that money today, Baby Pig. The bank is closed. That's not a problem. I've got quick pay. I think next week is better still. I think you're trying to play games with me, baby pig. Now I told you, I need that money. 
and I have every intention of getting it today. I don't have the money. Oh, okay. Well, let me come in and take a look for myself. I can't do that. Why not? Well, the floors need to be mopped, and I really don't like to entertain company with unkept floors. Entertain company? Entertain company? That's it. That's it! I've had enough! I'll give you your money, man. Relax, I just don't have it right now. But Big Bad Wolf had heard enough. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he started blowing at Baby Pig's home. What are you doing? I don't even have insurance on this thing! Right before Baby Pig's home came tumbling down, he ran out the door and ran to Mel Pig's home, while Big Bad Wolf followed in hot pursuit. Lock hey. the door! Someone's following me! What's going on? Just dealing with a disgruntled business associate. Ooh, your little pig! Little pig, let me in! Cause I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow this house down! Who's this? A guy I owe some money to. You got 20 grand I could borrow? No, I do not. You want more gold than Pig Diddy and asking me for 20 grand? Little pig, little pig let me in. Or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow this house down. Sir, there must be some misunderstanding. I assume you and my brother could work this out. Man, y'all pigs playing with my money. You're playing with my money. You know what, pig? I've had enough of this. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he started blowing Mel Pig's house down. What's he doing? He's blowing your house down. No, 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 the foundation is weak. The basement flooded last week. So the two little pigs ran out the house and headed to Piggywood. Hey fellas, come on in. Fancy seeing you guys. There's some crazy guy following us. And he just destroyed my home. I was still making payments on that thing. What's going on? Baby Pig owes the guy money. What? I can explain, it's all a big misunderstanding. How much do you owe him? About 20 grand, but I I'll get it sorted out. What kind of misunderstanding leaves you 20 grand in the hole? Just a little gambling debt. I was trying to cover the rent. I bought a watch of a guy that turned out to be a fake. I didn't know it was a fake. Hold up. This how these pigs living? And they don't want to give me my money? Y'all out here living off the fat of the land and holding up my money? Come on. I'm done with these games, pig. I'm about to huff, and I'm about to puff, and I'm about to blow this house down. What's he doing? He's, He's blowing, blowing your house, house down. down. I don't know if this guy is like an Olympic whistler or something, but how he gets all that air into his lungs is objectively incredible. Okay, where's my pistol? This isn't even my home. I'm not entertaining this. You have a gun? Yeah, I got a conceal and carry permit when we moved down. I've never shot anyone before. I'm not a killer, but... But he pushed me. Nine one one, where's your emergency? Two twenty five. What's where you putting that thing? What's going on over there? There was a wolf outside. He was trying to kill us, so I shot him. Send the police, please. Just send the police. Well, after a lengthy court battle which absorbed the older pig of any charges stemming from Big Bad Wolf's injuries, Big Bad Wolf counter sued for the money he was owed, the virus was eventually cured, and the middle pig got an insurance settlement for his damaged house. The pigs decided to move back in with their parents so they could save and plan better for the next time they decide to go out on their own. You should plan before you move out. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Cause I will huff, and I will puff, and I will blow your house down. Cause I'm not playing, cause I'm not playing, I will blow your house down.